The most controversial military aircraft of our days is the F-35 Lightning II. Some claims that it represents a new era in military aviation, while the others accept that it's a big failure. Some claims are right, but many others are just exaggeration. As the weapon detective, we're investigating the F-35, the most problematic combat aircraft of our time. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel before we start and give us a thumbs up if you like our video. To be notified of our new video, please click the bell button. Undoubtedly, in the first quarter of the 21st century, the F-35 was the aircraft that occupied the agenda the most. The discussions about it are on two extremes. To better understand these discussions about the Lightning II, let's first take a look at the history of the JSF project. After the end of the Cold War, as we call the First Cold War, the US Air Force, the US Navy and the US Marine Corps demanded a new 5th generation light combat aircraft to replace the 4th generation A-10, F-16, AV-8B and F-A-18s in their inventories. The new flying machine had to fly at supersonic speed without using the afterburner and be stealth. To answer the different requirements of these three different forces, it was decided for three versions to be developed. A ground-based conventional, a ship-based conventional landing takeoff and a short takeoff and vertical landing which were 80% common component. The project, now called Joint Strike Fighter, shortly JSF, officially started in 1996. The X-35 model of Lockheed Martin beat the X-32 of Boeing, its rival, and has become the F-35 Lightning II. The Lightning is the name of both P-38, the American veteran fighter aircraft of the Second World War, and the first and only pure British design and built supersonic jet interceptor. Between 2001 and 2012, the United Kingdom, the Netherlands, Italy, Canada, Denmark, Turkey, Norway and Australia had joined the program respectively. As you mentioned, the aircraft has three versions. The F-35A is the land-based conventional takeoff and landing model. The F-35B is the ship-based short takeoff and vertical landing version. The F-35C is the ship-based catapult assisted takeoff but arrested recovery aircraft. The F-35A performed its maiden flight on December 15, 2006. Two years later, the B version and four years later, the C version made their first flights. While the length of the F-35A and C are 15.67 meters, the F-35B is shorter. Despite the aircraft has a lift engine behind the cockpit different from others, it is only 15.59 meters long. When we speak about the wingspan, this time A and B are the same. 10.67 meters. The F-35C has a wingspan of 13.1 meters which helps the ship-based catapult assisted takeoff but arrested recovery operations. These three models are 4.33 meters, 4.57 meters and 4.7 meters high respectively. The maximum takeoff weight of the F-35A and C are nearly 31.8 tons. The F-35B is 27.2 tons. The A and C variants of the F-35 have a combat radius of 1,200 km. Because the lift engine infests large volume, the F-35B has a smaller internal fuel tank and it can reach just over 900 km combat radius. Despite the program requirements, the Lightning II does not have a real supercruise capability. The aircraft can perform supercruise for a very short time and distance. To be able to reach supersonic speed for considerable time and distance, it has to use the afterburner. To preserve its stealth future, the F-35 carries the weapons inside of its internal weapon base. Thus, the aircraft is a suitable platform as the first strike system. In a low-intensity combat environment or after the destruction of the enemy's radar and air defense net systems by the first strike, the F-35 would be equipped with the weapon systems on its underwing pylons. With the underwing load, the aircraft loses some of its stealth features but can carry more weapons and or external fuel tanks. Australia, Israel, Italy, Japan, the Netherlands, Norway, South Korea, the UK and the USA are the current users of the aircraft. Because of the S-400 crisis, 
The F-35As that were produced for Turkey are waiting indefinitely. The USA also cancelled the previous contract with Turkey and banned the possible future purchases to this country. In April 2021, Turkey has been excluded from the F-35 fighter jet program. Despite this decision, many Turkish companies will continue to produce parts for the aircraft. Belgium, Denmark, Poland and Singapore will be future operators of the F-35. As a partner of the JSF project, Canada cancelled the F-35 procurement because of the aircraft's high costs. But the Lightning II is still on the table as a competitor for a new aircraft to replace the CF-18 fleet. The Royal Canadian Air Force is also evaluating the possible procurement of the Eurofighter Typhoon, FA-18 EF Super Hornet, JAS-39 Gripen and the Rafael. The aircraft was used in combat for the first time by Israel in 2018. The USA and the UK have also employed their Lightning IIs in combat missions. Some sources even claim that the Israeli F-35s flew over the capital of Iran, Tehran. It is also claimed that the Israel uses these aircraft for combat missions over Iraq and Lebanon. So far, the aircraft is successful in real combat missions. But why do too many people complain about the F-35? The main problem is not the aircraft, but the project management. In the beginning, the JSF project was intended to be similar to the previous F-5 and F-16 programs of the USA. The F-35 was supposed to be an aircraft with fair procurement and life cycle costs. As a fifth generation fighter, it would be able to fly at supersonic speed without the afterburner. The different users would be able to adapt the aircraft for their specific needs. But the F-35 could not answer any of these requirements. During the first step of the JSF program, it was announced that the procurement cost of the new aircraft would be 25 to 35 million dollars. Today, it is claimed that this cost is 85 million, but the real cost is over 120 million dollars. As you know that the complete procurement process brings lots of special burdens. So, buying 5 F-35s would not be 600 million dollars, but you would have to spend over 2 billion dollars. It is equal to more than several African countries' defense budget altogether to have a squadron level of the Lightning II. In addition, the life cycle cost of the F-35 is higher than the F-22. The powerful engine of the aircraft could melt the current airbase's runways. The F-35 also needs special chemical waste facilities. So, you have to rebuild your air facilities countrywide or you could only use some of your military bases and civil airports. Besides, you could not easily deploy your Lightning IIs abroad. The AN-APG-81 radar of Northrop Grumman and the EOTC targeting pod of Lockheed Martin are standard for all aircraft. The F-35 cannot be fitted with different radars or targeting pods even if you could produce these systems domestically or find more capable models from other countries. However, while the USA dictates the AN-APG-81 and the EOTC to the JSF project partners, it is known that Israel has integrated its locally developed electronic warfare suits and other avionics onto its F-35I Adir version. To preserve its stealth future, the F-35 carries the weapons inside of its internal weapon base. No weapon, which does not have a suitable size, can be integrated into these base. This situation would prevent procure different weapon systems from different sources in case of crises with other JSF partner countries. Besides, all maintenance and support activities will be controlled by a center in the USA. So the Big Brother will always watch your F-35 squadron. But the main problem is money as usual. To overcome these problems, even the US Air Force has switched to a lower cost solutions. The latest model of the good old F-15, the Eagle II, is precisely the example of this new trend. However, it should not be forgotten that the F-15EX is not an alternative but a complement to the F-35. But the fourth generation Western aircraft are critically aging and they need to be replaced. Russia and China developed their fifth or fifth generation samples. There is no way back. In the dawn of the second Cold War, for the countries which are in need for a modern fifth generation fighter, the F-35 is the most suitable and the only choice. Thanks for watching our new video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up if you liked our video. To be notified of our new videos, please click the bell button.